Y'all already know what time it is. We're in the building, man. As soon as y'all get up in here, make sure y'all smash the like button. Say which number like y'all is. Y'all see the title. Y'all see the thumbnail, man. We a little late, but we made it, fool. We finna talk our shit. So look, man. Yesterday, breaking news, man. No Limit Cairo bumped with a switch and a stole and a steamer, man. Stolen vehicle, man. They got him with a, 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 a gun and switch, which they call a machine gun. They don't just say... You know, they call it a machine gun. I mean, it is, though. But, and, you know, they caught him with a switch and a, uh, and a steam and a stolen car and shit like that. So, whole time, bro, you know, all of this shit is on the heels of a member of, by the name of No Limit Calvin getting killed, fool. You know, they found Cairo in a handicapped parking spot in a stolen car with a Glock with a switch on it. You know what I'm saying? And if you look at his mug shots like Cairo, he looked like he was off the drugs, you know what I'm saying? You know, but the word word that's getting back about the situation, man, is that Cairo was on the way to get back for Calvin. No Limit Calvin, who got killed by the uh, immigrants or the migrants, the Venezuelan migrants, you know. For the people who don't know, man, it's a war going on over East. Not just between No Limit and KTS and Death Row. Like, it's on some racial shit going on, man. The No Limits is into it with the Venezuelan migrants, fool. And you know, one of Cairo homies got killed yesterday. And the word that's getting back is that Cairo was bumped by 12 on the way to get back for Calvin. You know what I'm saying? You know, on the way to go do something to the Venezuelans for doing something to Calvin. His ass was booked. And they grabbed him, and he had, you know what I'm saying? He was in a he was in a steamer with with a switch, you know. And you know, it's crazy, man. I've been seeing the comments of the people, you know, talking they shit in the uh about that video that I dropped about, you know, this situation with just with Calvin though. I've been seeing the people comments, and you know, y'all are all over the place. I ain't gonna lie, fool. I don't even know where to start. Y'all saying all type of shit, you know, and. You know, whether, you know, I notice a lot of people saying like, yeah, they trying to do this shit all over the country. They said the, you know, the people who run Venezuela or whatever, let a whole bunch of, uh, this was one of the craziest, com one of the crazier comments. Somebody said that the Venezuelan government let out all their prisoners or let out a whole bunch of their prisoners and they said all the uh like they sent the craziest prisoners over to America. You know what I'm saying? Like the craziest, like like they top craziest criminals, they sent them to America. And you know, I guess it was a whole thing about, you know, if they was gonna let them in or they if they weren't gonna let them in, and you know, whole time they end up letting them in. So that's, I ain't gonna lie, fool. That's wild. I ain't even into all the politics and all that type of shit. But for y'all to let, to release all y'all prisoners and to allow the craziest ones, you know, like all y'all killers, basically. You know what I'm saying? Just put it like that. They let all the Venezuelans killers out of jail and they just let them in the U.S. right now. Like, they just let them in America. And slowly but surely, you know, they making their way around this motherfucker. Like, they making their way around. You know, I heard there's some up in, uh, they got some shit going on in New York. They having a problem in New York. Cali been a, a place where, you know, Hispanic gang members or whatever you want to say, you know what I'm saying? Cali, they full of that shit. They got 18th Street, MS-13, uh, Mexican Mafia. Like, they, they been had, they, you know what I'm saying? They share that shit over there. But Chicago, I'm telling you, fool, like, this is, we ain't, like, this not no Cali shit. I mean, like, we got the Kings and then we got, we got all the Latin folks and all that shit, but them is homegrown Hispanic people doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? We got a whole neighborhood called the Back of the Yards, Little Village. That's they shit on phone number. That's the Hispanic shit. They run that shit. Goddamn, you got the La Rasas, um, you know. But for but as far as like, yeah, a whole bunch of Mexican mafias and a whole bunch of MS13s from Goddamn it, Guadalajara and Venezuela 
like top killers just got let out of prison and to come to the rack like from Venezuela and it's like nah bro that's that's new that's 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 definitely like that's some alien shit to me like that's crazy what's to the Brazil Venezuelan government anyway but now you know I was seeing so boom they go a little bit of background as far as like how this shit even able to happen it's like it's because they did that shit so now so they so basically long story short they done these people that I just spoke on they done made their way over into no limit neighborhood and they going at it right now on folding them like they going at it you know and it's like it's crazy because it's like ain't nobody finna go you know, ain't nobody for none, but it's wild because it's like whole time they come with a different level of warfare. Like, like they ass come like I heard there's jungles and shit over there. Like they they doing war in the middle of jungles and it's a different level, bro. It's, it's calibers to this shit. And, you know, you got, you know, like. As much as them shorties don't care, it's like this shit finna be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. But no, Cairo seemed like his ass, like he one of the people who not going for that shit. Or, you know, he attempted to not go for that shit. Because, you know, like I ain't gonna lie, man. Cairo, his ass don't care about shit, bro. Dude ass got some devil horns on his side of his face. Fodum got a whole joker tattoo. And then he done survived the whole drill scene, bro. All the people who done died, bro, all the way from 2010 all the way up until now. So it's like Cairo, he like a veteran in this shit. So it's like, and then Calvin, the dude who died, they he from Cairo and Herb Ever and shit. So it's like that was one of Cairo homies and shit. So you know the word is that Cairo was on the way to get back. He's finna go get down on one of the Venezuelans for doing that shit to to fold them and shit like that. But you know. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, this shit crazy. Whole time, it's like, I mean, you switch a few of they little ass down, they might, might get the message, but you know they probably they might not get the message. Like I said, bro, they over there in jungles doing this shit. Like, we over here on blocks and, and corners and shit like that. We got streets, you know, street signs, poles and shit, cars, you know what I'm saying? God damn it, we not in the jungle. They doing the same shit on a on a on a on a, a more advanced level and but they in jungles and shit so it's like I don't know bro y'all know me I don't want to just say the Venezuelans gonna come over here and just take this shit because shorty them over there no limit they not for none but at the same time I'm knowing I'm like man this is the type of shit that you know that uh these 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 migrants come from that's I don't know fool that's that's on some different type of shit fool you know Long story short, you know, whoever made the final decision to decide for this uh, shit to go through and for y'all to let all y'all killers and rapists and all that shit just to dump them over here, you know what I'm saying, on Chicago, I ain't gonna lie. Whoever, you know, signed off on that shit, y'all bogus as hell. I'm seeing people in the comments like, yeah, Biden, Camilla, Trump, and all this shit. I'm like, man, I don't know which one is it. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I heard Trump wasn't for that shit. You know what I'm saying? People can say what they want to say about Trump, but I heard he wasn't for that shit. I think the people in the comments saying that Biden and Kamala, they for that shit. Like, yeah, let them come in. I ain't gonna lie, that shit bogus. Y'all bogus as hell if y'all did that shit for, you know. But it seemed like all that Venezuelan uh, guerrilla warfare, goddamn it, jungle, that seemed like that shit ain't the Tyro because he was on his way to get one of their ass up or get a few of their ass up out of here before his ass was bumped by 12 in a steamer with guns. You know what I'm saying? And all this shit. You know, and mind you, this like a day after Calvin just got killed by these migrants and shit. So it's like, you know, I don't know, fool. The whole situation wild to me, man. You know, but... Who knows, man? This shit probably gonna extend Cairo lifespan because his ass was out there running around with Shorty them on the same type of time that they was on. And these is teenagers and shit. So it's like, you know, Cairo was living a high risk lifestyle. And, you know, as much as jail is like the lamest shit ever, sometime in these, you know what I'm saying, in the type of areas that we talking about, sometimes jail damn near 
save you from death. You know, as lame as it is, it's like who trying? Ain't nobody trying to be up in jail, but it's like you know, sometimes that be saving people life. Like Lil Mikey just did thirteen years. Shit, if he was out here, his ass probably wouldn't even be here. Kiddo, ten years. If he was out, he probably wouldn't be here. Tay Savage, another ten years. If he was out, Tay Savage probably would have got killed. It was it was over busting. Y'all male, his ass could have, uh, if he went to jail, not for nobody, but maybe for like, you know what I'm saying, five years or some shit or whatever, that shit could have saved his life. You know, maybe he wouldn't have went to that party and, uh, for Can't Get Right, you know? But, um, nah, man, I see everybody in the comments, free Cairo. I'm like, free Cairo, what's going on? They like, yeah, bro, he got bumped with a switch in a stolen car in a handicap uh, spot. And then word getting back, like, yeah, he was on the way to get back at the uh for his homie and shit. I'm like, damn, that shit did. I just made a story about that shit, you know? And you know, Cairo, he don't get treated the way he get treated by them little shorties, or them little drench gang shorties, Faro, Lil Wet. They don't treat him like the leader for nothing. Shorty ass wild as hell, fool. His ass not rap tight. But he's smart, though. Like, you could tell, you know, how Cairo be talking in these interviews or... You know what I'm saying? On these platforms, you can tell like he more, way more advanced than a lot of people we see in this shit, bro. That that McDonald's situation, that's the only thing people be holding against him. And then he was a shorty. And then he ain't run. I mean, he got like that, you know, he got hit up in his mouth and shit the whole time. All the other no limits ran. So it's like, I be seeing people, they be like, yeah, Cairo, he's ass really a goofy. He got punched in the mouth. And it's like, man, y'all ass. If his ass was a goofy, why don't shorty them treat him like one? They Why don't they run the shit? Why, they, why that shit don't look like it's day hood and all that shit? Why the hell they just respecting him so much? And why the hell, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of questions. If Cairo is really a goofy, it's, I got a lot of questions there. Why is Faro treating his ass like his ass uh, somebody? Lil Wet, goddammit, uh, Herb. Why the hell, you know what I'm saying? It, it's so much shit. Why the hell, goddammit, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, I ain't even finna ask all them questions. You know, I'm basically saying all that to say, like, look, bro, y'all ass, everybody who's saying all that McNuggle shit about Cairo, y'all got it all wrong, fool. <laughs> I'm folding them. Y'all got that shit all wrong, bro. That shit don't mean nothing. The, the real question is what happened after that on phone them y'all like the shit immediately happened on phone them soon as they came out the soon as KTS them came out the McDonald's got their ass blew down ran back to their hood or they if they ain't run back they ass gonna get their ass popped and these are shorties they young as hell so it's like you know no Limit got back that night. They ain't even, bro, that No Limit got back for Cairo getting punched in the face in like fucking like 60 seconds after they did the shit, bro. How is y'all talking about, yeah. Like, bro, don't you know they got their ass blew down as soon as they came out to McDonald's, bro? Y'all gotta make this shit make sense, bro. You know, y'all got this shit all wrong, bro. Y'all looking at this. So yeah, bro, I'm folding them. But now, that shit crazy, man. Hopefully Cairo be able to, if they give him a bond, he gonna be up out of the. You know, if they give him, you know, any type of, you know, what's the name? Shorty ass to be up out of there. Or he might end up sitting, you know. You know, Cairo, he, he got he went through a situation a few years back with a dude from 600. And they end up threatening the judge. And dude from 600 end up telling on Cairo. And so it's like, shit, you know, they might hold that shit against him. Like, yeah, man, you threatening our judges and shit. We finna make you sit down, you know. But who knows, man. You might see Cairo home in a few days type shit, you know. You know, drenching them, they got a money. Drenching them got, you know, they damn near got, like, people with money on their side, you know. Lil Bibby, Herbs, AMF Vizzle, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So maybe they can finesse the situation, get a lawyer, you know what I'm saying, get out on house arrest or something like how Munda Duke did. Munda Duke, he out on house arrest right now. He ain't beat that gun case. A lot of people like, yeah, Munda Duke beat his gun case. Nah, bro, his ass, he on house arrest, bro. He still fighting that shit. So, you know, maybe they can finesse a situation like that and, you know, phone them can come home. But now, nah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Everything we just talked about, y'all give me y'all opinion, man.
If y'all made it to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button and say which number like y'all is. Make sure y'all mess with all the links in the description from top to bottom. And before y'all get up out of here, do me the biggest favor and smash the like button, man. Y'all already know what's going on. I brought some money, y'all. I be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy. Look for them over, stuff my blood and shit.